Jurassic World Dominion, or JWD, is getting mixed reviews, and I think this diversity of opinions and the reason for them actually gives us a fascinating insight into the state of the movie industry. So here's a quick, slightly spoilery review from three angles to show you what I'm talking about. As a film, it's pretty good. Nothing significant or particularly memorable, uh, but lots of thrills and action, a little humour, and nothing done particularly badly. If you want two hours of easy entertainment that doesn't tax your brain, JWD's got you covered. As a Jurassic Park franchise film, it's kinda okay. Much like Jurassic Park 3, which gave us this gem. Alan. The dinosaurs in JWD aren't the story. They're more the background, the context to the story of Apple CEO Tim Cook going bad and becoming a two-dimensional, generic, evil corporate bad guy, causing Dr. Goldblum to email Dr. Fancy Pants and Dr. Allen, Allen, while also involving Indiana Pratt and the woman who directs The Mandalorian. Yep, she did that. So the gang's all here, including requisite, token, strong, diverse female and the Asian dude we all sort of recognise from earlier but can't name. More on him later. Oh, and there's dinosaurs. They're definitely there. Not really needed in the story much, but they are cool. So it's a dinosaur movie alright, but in that it's kinda average. But as a finale to the Jurassic Park franchise, it's rubbish. Standalone film, decent. Dinosaur movie, meh. But as an end to an epic saga, it's just sort of a rushed mess. And it's not the first. When I heard Star Wars Episode Nine being billed as the conclusion of the Skywalker saga, I was like, Skywalker saga? That's a new one. As if all nine films had always been intended to be a thing, which they obviously weren't. And honestly, episode nine was a complete mess, partly because they did this last minute jamming together of story threads from across 50 years. Uh, to think that Luke Skywalker needs a conclusion that you can throw into the end of a film like an afterthought is actually pretty insulting. And we all know why they're doing it. The MCU set a standard for weaving a saga together, but the thing is they did it intentionally from the start. It was designed to eventually come together. But it's made $26 billion and more, so of course everyone wants to replicate that. But this after the fact forcing together of decades worth of separate films into some contrived saga feels like herding cats into a bag. They, they don't want to be there and you're going to have to work pretty hard to keep them in. And why do they have to do this? The longest running film franchise in history is James Bond, which makes bank with every film. But can you imagine them trying to make Connery and Craig fit together into some Winter Soldier-esque immortal super spy just to make all the stories fit? Given that the last Bond made nearly $800 million at the box office, you'd have to ask why they'd need to do that, right? Well, the last Jurassic World movie scored $1.3 billion, so I'm mystified as to why they think they needed to contrive this ending, and why they need an ending at all. This sells. Unless the Jurassic Park property is part of NBC's Peacock streaming service, who are desperate for streaming content to compete with Disney Plus and all their properties, maybe this is the end of the movies but just the precursor for a new streaming series. One in which familiar but less expensive faces pop up and the expensive CG dinosaurs are more in the background of the main story, making it cheaper to produce. Stranger things have happened. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this or want to help the channel grow, uh, you know what to do. Uh, and please consider supporting me in making my own film franchise uh, at the link below. Uh, just you signing up to receive updates gets me one step closer to getting a film deal. And with that, have a great day.